Uh, Fatima says, is it permissible to do wudu during menses? What if we want to do it before sleeping to follow the sunnah? The most authentic opinion, and this is what uh, the Shafi'i school of thought, Imam Nawawi spoke about, and other schools of thought as well, that this is not permissible. A woman on her period must not perform wudu because first, this is an innovation. Secondly, it has no value. So it's like praying two rak'ahs while in your menses. This is not permissible. One may argue and say, okay, tell me then, why if a person is in his major ritual impurity, meaning that he had intimacy with the missus, and now he has to perform ghusl. And he wants to perform ghusl after he goes to bed, before waking up for fajr. So why do we make wudu? The answer is because Mother Aisha told us that the Prophet whenever he went to bed in the state of major ritual impurity, he would break that or lessen it by performing wudu to sleep. So she says, then why if a woman in her menses can't do the same? We say that the woman can't do the same because the wudu would not help her to pray even if she does. But the person with the major ritual impurities period of impurity is minimal, two hours, four hours at most. And then he will have to have a total bath, ghusl, to pray. While a woman in menses, her wudu would not help her to do anything. Unlike a person in his major ritual impurity, his wudu would lessen his impurity so that he can go to sleep. And even that is not a must. It's a confirmed sunnah. The Prophet Islam sometimes may have skipped it as in the hadith of Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. So, yes, a woman in her menses must not perform wudu before sleeping or for any other reason, and Allah Azza wa knows best. This is